Hello and welcome to Tiny Code Christmas Day 12, the last day. Now we do have a size coding challenge for you today, but we also have a bigger challenge for you. And that is to submit to the Love Byte demo party. Love Byte is taking place from the 10th to the 12th of February 2023, and it is the biggest party with the tiniest productions. And there is a huge range of tiny competitions, tiny executable graphics, nano games, Pixel graphics, we got Byte Jams, Byte Beat Music, and an 8 Byte Showcase. We have the Nano Awards, more on that later. There's Ask Us Anythings, Seminars, DJ Sets, and more. Check out www.lovebyte.party for more information. So before we get to the challenge, we're just going to talk a little bit about demo parties and how they work, in case you haven't taken part before. Demo parties generally come in two flavors, in person or online. Love Byte is an online party. You sign up to a party system, and this is a website that manages all the entries and the voting. And you can generally sign into this via scene ID or by using a vote key. You'll submit your entry, your productions, and make sure to meet the deadlines, choose the appropriate competition, and organizers will check the entries. When the, the party is in process, hang out. If you're there in real life, that's the easy part. Um, if it's online, chat. Discord, Twitch, Scene City, and watch the competitions. Big screen if you're there in person. Otherwise, it'll be streamed on either twitch.tv or scenecity.tv. And most of the competitions will have live voting. And don't forget to vote. When all is said and done, the demo parties will have a results show. And they will announce the podium finishers. They may show all the results, they may not. And the main thing is to be happy and enjoy the experience. So what happens after the party? Your releases will be spread to scene.org for archiving. The tireless volunteers at demozoo.org will probably have the entries and the results updated. And you can add more information to that if you want. You can add your screenshots, links to your YouTube videos, etc. Post it to puet.net, which is another online website for archiving demos and productions. Anyone can add them to this website as well, but generally it's on the person who made it to add them. And then any live code that happened will hopefully be added to livecode.demozoo.org. So how to prepare for a competition? Make something. That's the hard part, but the most rewarding. Sign up for Scene ID, and this is an OAuth provider, and it allows you to log into all of the Scene websites with this one ID. And some parties are using this now to sign into the party system. Others are using still vote keys. And this is vote key is a way of making sure that you just vote once and you request these either online or when you show up to the party in person, you get it from the info desk and then you create your account using that. Some upcoming demo parties. Zenta takes place from the 27th to the 30th of December and you can check out the website at zenta.rocks. Um, it's in real life but it is streamed on scenecity.tv and you can enter remotely with an online ticket. Field effects takes place on the 31st of December. Random competition, anything goes. It'll be streamed on twitch.tv slash field effects demo and there will be a tiny code Christmas recap. There'll be a get ready for love bite stream on Saturday the 14th of January. So make sure you don't miss that. Put it in your diaries. The Nano Awards celebrate the best tiny intro productions and the nominations for the, the nano awards are in progress now get a scene id go to demozoo.org all eligible size coded productions will have the option to nominate for the nano awards and that is taking place then at love bite so how do you find out about future stuff you got to stay in touch so our mastodon has been absolutely hopping thank you to everyone and that's at love by party at graphics.social we are still on twitter at lovebyte party lovebyte.party is the website you're watching this on our youtube channel so there's a, a few little buttons there that would be nice if you could click and the lovebyte discord and there's also the lovebyte channel on ircnet so what next enter a competition the videos on the website will stay online and you can get help on the size coding discord year round keep up to date on the scene in general and you can do that by watching PS Enough's reports and check out demoscene.org and point.net and look at the latest releases. 
So the challenge today is a little bit open-ended, but there are some suggestions that you can try. You've learned a huge amount of effects and um, techniques over the last 12 days and want to put them into practice now. So the main challenge, should you choose to accept it, is a voxel Christmas tree. So something similar to this, but maybe with, with voxels instead of pixels. And um, make it as Christmassy as possible. Can you add snow? Can you add a landscape? Who knows? You're not limited to the voxel stuff. If you prefer to go back to some of the other techniques that we've learned during the week, that's fine too. But your limit this time is 256 bytes. So you've a lot more room to play with. So maybe you want to revisit one of your day one scenes or your day two scenes and add a lot more to it. Maybe you want to pack in a bunch of different effects or go for the voxel. So before you go, also check out Nano Gems, curated selection of the best tiny intros in 8 to 124 bytes. And you can check that out at nanogems.demozoo.org. And again, please keep in touch at the following socials. Check out these upcoming parties. And don't forget Love Bite. There isn't a lot to say at this point, except uh, a huge thank you to everyone that has participated in Tiny Coat Christmas and everyone that helped me get it to this point. I'd like to thank the entire Love Bite team. And on top of that then, um, Super Rogue for the expert challenges, which have been hugely popular. Aldroid, the Field effects team, Aldroid and Reality, have been great at promoting Tiny Coat Christmas. Reality set up the hosting for the website and it managed to withstand the front page of Hacker News. So thank you very much for that. The Watcher, thank you so much for all of the fantastic social media work that has been done. And in terms of feedback and getting the Tiny Coat Christmas to the stage that it is, um, for proofreading my, my documents, I'd like to thank. Super Rogue, Aldroid, Watcher, and Mentortronic for their huge help in getting this into shape. There's nothing much left to say at this stage, except thank you all. Uh, uh, da hey, Dad? Yeah? Aren't you forgetting something? What? You're supposed to say like and subscribe. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. G good job, Dad. Thanks. This has been Love Bites Tiny Coat Christmas. I've been Dave84. You have been fantastic. See you soon. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.